Hi Dell Shakes fan, Cassie, back with another sonnet for you. I'm really excited to read Sonnet 21 today because the tone of this one makes me laugh. In it, Shakespeare as the speaker is throwing some shade at other poets. And he's basically saying to the listener, you know, what everyone else says is just hyperbole, it's grand comparisons, and what I feel for you is genuine and specific. And I love cheeky, sassy Shakespeare. He always makes me laugh. There is a word in the eighth line of this sonnet that I had never heard before, rondure. And the phrase is this huge rondure, which you can tell from context, Shakespeare means like the grand sphere of the world. But I did look it up. And what I loved is that my Arden edition here goes on to specify that it is a pretentious sounding word, not used by Shakespeare elsewhere, which mimics the other poet's inflated diction. <laughs> So I learned something new today, and this is Sonnet 21. So is it not with me as with that muse, stirred by a painted beauty to his verse, who heaven itself for ornament doth use, and every fair with his fair doth rehearse, making a couplement of proud compare with sun and moon, with earth and sea's rich gems, with April's firstborn flower and all things rare that heaven's air in this huge rondure hems. Oh, let me true in love, but truly right. And then believe me, my love is as fair as any mother's child, though not so fair as those gold candles fixed in heaven's air. Let them say more that like of hearsay well, I will not praise that purpose not to sell. <laughs> Stay safe, friends.